Hi, my name is Josh Ashworth and I'm the Sonar Consultant for MTech Systems. Today I would like to show you an overall demo of the Sonar mobile application. Sonar is a mobile app that gathers real-time data from sensors placed inside poultry houses. That data is then delivered to tech advisors, managers, and growers so they can make proactive decisions about the poultry house environment. Sonar is broken down into two components, Sonar Web and the Sonar app. For the purpose of this video, we will be focusing mainly on the Sonar application. When you log in the application, you will be directed to the activity feed. The activity feed is a list of farms with current alerts. These farms are displayed based on user permissions. When you click on the farm tab, you will be directed to the screen with a list of farms that the user has permission to see. When we click on the farm, we drill in a little deeper to the houses screen. Here's a list of the houses with the KPIs that Sonar tracks. Sonar tracks temperature, humidity, water, feed, ammonia, CO2, and CFM. On this particular house one card, we can click on temperature and it takes us to a graph of an overview of the temperature for that day. This can be customized for a day, a week, a month, two months, or even the life of the flock. Beside the overview, we have the history tab. When we click on the history tab, we see the history of the temperature for the life of the flock. The next tab over is the sensors. The sensors gives us the last current reading as well as the health of the sensor itself. Here you see that the temperature one is online. It's located in the middle of the house and it was above the maximum target of 90.9 degrees. If we want to change and see another KPI, we hit the back button and go down to say feed, for example. Here on this feed KPI, we see the same overview graph with the day, the week, the month, the two month and life of the flock chart. We have also have the same history tab. We see the history of the maximum amount of feed for each day of the life of the flock. Last is the bins tab. On the bins tab, we see the current bin reading as well as the capacity and whether or not this bin is on or offline. Next, we will look at the events tab. On the events screen, you will see there's a planned feed delivery. Also, there could be some planned chick placements as well. Moving on to the analytics screen. When we click on the analytics tab, we see a snapshot of this flock's performance. Here we chart weight, mortality, feed consumption, as well as water consumption. And last, we have the alerts tab. When we click on the alerts tab, we go to the screen with a list of KPIs that fall outside of the normal threshold. These alerts are updated every 15 minutes based on the threshold set up in the Sonar web application. For the very last screen, we have the settings. If you click on the settings cog, you'll see the language is customizable for the user, as well as changing from imperial to metric. There's also a place to change the font size. All is left for the user then is to log out at the bottom of your screen. This completes this overview of the Sonar mobile application. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the farm.